But 20 million years ago, there was another marine mammal that could match Megalodon's aggression. This is a skull of, a, of an ancient whale called a squalodont, and these animals could echolocate, and they were probably top predators for their time. Squalodon would have been a pretty formidable opponent. Squalodon didn't get as big as Megalodon, but they got pretty good size. Uh, 25, 30 feet, I think, would be a, a pretty good estimate for a reasonable size Squalodon. Squalodon was a top predator, like today's transient orcas. If we want to interpret any behavior of an extinct animal, we have to look at modern animals. In the case of these squalodonts, we would probably look at the modern killer whale. Uh, whales have been known to attack sharks. It's not simply a one-way street where sharks attack whales. Squalodon, at a maximum length of nine meters, would not have taken on a 15-meter megalodon by itself, but they would fight. If the megalodon spotted a squalodon, it wouldn't have hesitated to attack. Scientists believe these marine mammals may have traveled in pods. Squalodon, being a big toothed whale, would have been a highly intelligent animal. Megalodon, not so much. Higher reasoning powers uh, in sharks, not as nearly as well developed as, you, as what we find in marine mammals. Even an enormous animal like Megalodon is going to feel this punch in the gills. This time, it's outnumbered. The first Squalodon may not survive for long, but the Megalodon has sustained a few battle scars of its own. Not all attacks were successful, uh, like all predators. Uh, only a certain percentage of their attacks actually result in killing a prey that they then consume. 